Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. Oh, he's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. I tried to lift the curse myself, but no luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Yes, I gotta investigate. A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. It's clearing up. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Greetings. Greetings. See you. The giant, sure, but now he just faffs about suggesting mm. the last. Ah, beg ah. your pardon. You ain't from Nilfgaard, are you? Shiver at the very thought of that cursed wood. Just the witchcraft of Nilfgaard's wraiths. Hi. What? Keep the lighter in for I'm a simple chap. Seek no trouble. Out of me sight. Sure. Nothing here for Four you. Cakes. Good bottom. Gotta be true. Hi. What Ooh. is it? Not bad, a steel ghost. <laughs> you look awful. <laughs> Every man on the continent so bloodless. Seen the white whale? Fair of 
Hemdeskjald shores. Hemdel watches over clan to be The like blood of kings. Me, I you come them. along. I? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. You're a witcher, right? <sighs> I could have married a Uncle Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the knithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride. But he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. Want you to lift... Fine. I'll do it. But I... I'll be sure to tell him. But I... Than I think. Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No. But he doesn't have to die. All right. If it'll save Chalva, I'll go back to the hussy. what they say. No cure for trouble like a witch. Ray, 
I used to look kinder on speaker of. You must have angered her somewhere. We'll be done in a moment. And then a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. Ron Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember in that storm caught us in Old Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Off gone fellas were born a near drowned. <laughs> Something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, have- I have to! You have to tell me- So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar. The ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his... As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the...
Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember. Folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about. I found after you then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? We're never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Don't know. Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Uh, if only Miss Sven could be a hero like that. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you... Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't... Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl. Our guests, remember.
couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelric hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skelliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Craig's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you. Yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Yeah. That caught a turn. Adventure seeker. <laughs> Look at swords on your back. So fallen were eaten by trolls. Never ending shame, that Diana's chowder. Yeah. That caught a turn. These continental dandies come to look at them. We got to drag their
that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. What do it? What is this? Udalric. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. What did the gods want? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In 
in the end, Himes forced their victims to mutilate them. Sounds unpleasant. Hmm. Two methods that... Witcher's beast you say. The haunted house, you mean? It's not about sleep. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to... You've seen Udalric. What's this... They say a Heim can be... When I realize it... Great. Don't know anyone... Maybe no. I know you're doubtful. Might not be as simple as it's... What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night. You think the Heim... No, that would mean losing its hope. But Udalric could just... Exp the more pain the Heim... And the more dangerous it would... Hmm. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to... What? The meaning, if the new host does... Yes. So, for this to work... Exactly. Both methods seem risky. Don't know that I'm convinced. Oh, just please don't help. If we fail to think of anything, we can always... Hmm. Good decision. Haunted house. After you, then. No reason. Anything? Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be... Uh, anything? Said yourself. You can't know the details. So no, nothing else. Hope you know what you're doing. So... So, can we start? I'm ready. In the meantime, get a fire... to the old house. Grab her. Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the babe. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. 
You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spirit. You said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You're disoriented. But don't worry, it'll pass. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be struck. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speaker Rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be... What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're off... Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres.